We all want this to be over, but we're still in it. And this is a critical moment. We also have more tools than we ever had before. With a new surge comes a new plan. The White House is taking extra measures now against COVID-19. The Biden administration is deploying emergency response teams to six states, including Arizona. Each team has more than 100 medics and clinicians. That's in addition to the 300 federal workers who got deployed here when we were first hit with a new variant strain. The president addressed the nation today, rolling out new measures to slow the spread. The government's expanding its vaccination program to include pop-up locations, adding more federal test sites, and buying a half billion at-home rapid tests. You'll be able to get them shipped to your home for free next month. President Biden told vaccinated Americans to go on with their normal holiday plans, and at the same time, he encouraged boosters for better protection against Omicron. If you are not vaccinated, he warned of the potential of getting very sick and putting others at risk. Jason Berry's live. You talk with some health officials who are sounding the alarm about what we can expect after Christmas. Yeah, the good news is the number of Omicron cases in Arizona is extremely low right now compared mm. to the rest of the country. The bad news is that is likely to change after Christmas, putting a serious strain on our health care system. More cases, more COVID-related deaths. Arizona hospitals have been pushed to the brink again, and it could get worse. January of 2022, I think, is going to be the worst of the entire pandemic. Will Humble with the Arizona Public Health Association says the new Omicron virus is so contagious, he expects a significant spike in infections after Christmas, creating a widespread health care crisis. I like it to these outbreak movies that you see where everyone's walking around in ignorant bliss for a period of time before it really hits. And I think that's where we are right now. Whether it's an accident, injury, stroke, heart attack, gallbladder surgery, prostate cancer, though all of those things will be more di way more difficult to get in January. The rising number of COVID cases. COVID in an effort to slow the spread here in Arizona and across the country, President Biden announced Tuesday plans to provide 500 million free rapid COVID tests to anyone who wants one starting in January. The hope is that by getting more Americans to self-test at home, they can better avoid infecting others. What's your first name? Dan. A number of Valley wow. cities started giving away free COVID test what kits this week, but they didn't last long. The city of Tempe's allotment of 1,500 kits we just ran out. Oh. was gone in less than three hours Tuesday. We did expect that they would go quickly. We weren't quite sure how quickly, but this was certainly um, an indicator that there is a demand for this and that people really want to be safe. Many of the people who picked up an at-home COVID test said they wanted some peace of mind before getting together with friends and family for the holidays. With the new variant and the short incubation period that they think that it has and now that it's overtaken Delta, I think it's just a smart thing to do. Just want to be safe. Just want to be safe. Now, the first thing you should do if you test positive is contact your health care provider. I'm told Mesa and Tempe should have more of those free COVID tests starting next week. Reporting live in Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's family. Jason, thank you. In addition to the increased testing initiative, the president ordered the military to have medical personnel ready to help hospitals overrun with new cases. Arizona hospitals have more than 2,500 COVID patients as of tonight. The military's role also includes expanding vaccine pop-up sites. 